are more than just a hit. One home run set a stadium on fire. Another home run got fans addicted to Chick-fil-A. There's even a hit that made somebody $3 million. Every single one of the 15 home runs in this video get crazier and crazier. Build on fire. I did it to Chick-fil-A. I, I, bro was actually smoking something. I don't know what he's smoking, but he's definitely small, smoking something. But first, a home run that committed a crime. High drive. Crime. He's got another deep, far, and very good. Oh. Somebody's going to need a new windshield. They're in disbelief. They can't believe it. And those people were as stunned as me. Because where the vandalism happened, damaging other people's property has a consequence of up to 10 years in prison. So dude literally almost ended up behind bars over a home run. But they something even go. crazier is a home run that never even came close to going over the wall. He's going to catch it. Nobody. And now the ball's kicked back into nah. the right center field. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I see the score was right Ronaldo there. With that kick <laughs> and kicked a home run for his opponent. But something even crazier is a home run that happened because of another body part. High fly ball, right field deep. Can say go back to the track. It is off his head. Ow. <laughs> now that's the craziest head game I've ever seen. But honestly, that home run was kind of weak compared to the hit. What's up with bro, bro? Chat, y'all hearing what he's saying? Why bro speaking mad zesty? That was faster than a tornado. See, tornadoes are known to destroy everything in their path with an average speed of 110 miles per hour. So Giancarlo Stan was about to do something nearly impossible. He's known to hit some of the hardest home runs ever, holding the record for the hardest hit in 16 stadiums. And his hardest ever, uh, no diddy, was the fastest home run in MLB history. Nah, bro, what's this dude's name, bro? You know what I'm saying? Hit flicks, yo, you know what I'm saying? You got a body mouth, you feel me? You moving my body. And the pitch line to deep left of the sky. Hit as far. Oh. Has got what a bullet. You can't hit the ball harder than that. That home run clocked in at over 121 miles an hour, <laughs> making it faster than a tornado. But something even crazier is when another player's home run took off like a rocket. Three, two, one. Boy, this ball is hit. A soaring way up to the home run porch. Oh my! Bro, how do baseball player make money, bro? Because every time I see a baseball game and I look at the stadium, the stadium be like mad empty. You know what I'm saying, bro? But they be getting paid like mad bread. So like, where the money coming from? You know what I'm saying? I guess we do be watching baseball on TV too. So like, streams just like that. But like, you see the stadium? The stadium seem kind of kind of empty. Goodness. Look at that. Look at all the empty seats. Going up. Yeah, that was, uh, that baseball got hurt. Ooh, that hit sounded like a perfect perfect in the show. But even though that home run went 505 feet, making it the longest home run that MLB feet. calculated Jeez. at that time, there's an even farther home run coming later that literally went to a different state. But Cap. Listen, you ain't ready for things that crazy yet. First, let's talk about the four players whose home runs hit things that went viral. Jose Altuve was the first, and what he hit got fans free Chick-fil-A. Mm. See, Chick-fil-A is one of the biggest sponsors of his Astros team. So not only did they decorate the foul pole in their stadium to be Chick-fil-A themed, if Altuve hit a homer at it, all fans would get free food. Altuve, big back, big back. Yo, yo, I gotta start watching more baseball. What the heck? Free food? Looks one deep down the left field line. This ball is good. Oh, it hit it. That home run made headlines everywhere just because it earned fans some free Chick-fil-A. And I ain't gonna act like I didn't get in on the action. But this next guy's home run wasn't just crazier. It set the stadium on fire. Ow, cap. I don't believe it. But now, that video board is smoking. He's burning a house down with that home. Oh, man. Ah. Man's really smoked the J. <laughs> oh, wait. That was just me. Man smoked the jumbotron and actually left it smoking. Bro, home runs don't only hit. What's up with the? What's up with 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 with, with hits, bro? What's up with hit flicks, bro? You know what I'm saying? I, he giving me, he giving me. Uh, I want to be a cool dad vibes. You know what I'm saying, bro? He giving me um, or like cool uncle or something like that. He like the cool teacher type shit. You know what I'm saying? Who not really the cool teacher? You know what I'm saying? He just he just thinks he's cool. But he low key be making everybody uncomfortable. That's that's the that's the vibe, bro. It's giving me. I'm not gonna lie to you. 
hit things and start fires. Our third guy's home run wants someone a new car. You see this thing way out here? No, not one of those ugly ass Brewers fans. This brand new Toyota. It's given to a random Toyota. fan if a player hits it. And even though players spent years trying to smash the whip, but only got close a few times, Moustakis ended the drought. Sam Moustakis in the air to right center field. Watching this one fly. And even that? though that piece of shit, I mean, car, was worth $30,000, Miguel Cabrera's home run was even more expensive because his hit almost killed something. The controversy began in the Rays Stadium because they have a mini aquarium where fans are allowed Whoa. to pet stingrays. And even though most fans love it, Miguel's home run into the tank pissed off an entire organization. And Miguel sends one high in the air, deep into right center field. That ball is way back. It is going to go. It's out of here. Gone. A home run for Miguel Cabrera. Now, I personally think a home run doing a cannonball was pretty dope. But since the home run nearly hurt or even killed the Stingray, an organization that tries to protect animals from danger named PETA just had to say something. It would be PETA too, I swear. First, they released a statement saying the Rays were being held captive, were traumatically taken from their homes, and were subject to harassment, loud wow. crowds, and of course, baseball seriously injuring them. So they sent the team a letter demanding that they remove the tank and return the animals to their natural habitat. But some ugly people freaking out over nothing. It's 2024, so I believe that type of stuff happens. But what I couldn't believe is a player who hit a home run no-handed. That's in the air to left field, and that is going to fly out of here on a broken bat to the fifth row. I don't think it was a broken bat. I think he threw the bat at the ball. Uh, I don't even know how a home run like that is possible. Something that was improbable was a home run so crazy, it got a player rewarded with a crazy chain that even rappers are jealous of. Daniel Camarena was just playing in the minor leagues when he got a phone call. The Padres called him up for his first major league game ever. When the time came though, uh, things started off pretty bad. His squad gave up a few runs, then when Daniel came in, he almost instantly gave up a home run. Now being down 8-0, the game seemed like it was over until Daniel's squad slightly began making a comeback. Then eventually with the bases loaded, Daniel stepped up to the plate for his first uh -oh. at-bat ever and Base the opportunity loaded. of a lifetime. Camarena to deep right field! Camarena plays it, San Diego! I don't want a lot of baseball, but what I do know when the bases are loaded and you make sure that hate that dink out the park, man. Yo, 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 yo team. Your team might be glazing you for a little bit. Are you kidding me? The Padres pitcher that just brought up from El Paso it's a grand slam. That's unbelievable. I think this crowd is right. absolutely stunned. I know I am. I almost fainted. On his first at bat, he really did one of the rarest things. <laughs> Do you hear that, sir? I almost fainted. All right, bro. In baseball, Relax. hitting a grand slam. That had everybody hyped. And with momentum now on their side, it eventually helped his team come back to win. Afterwards, they owed it all to Daniel, so they rewarded him with diamonds. This thing's called the swag chain for a reason. It's a Cuban link piece with a massive seven pound pennant of golden brown diamonds. It spins, and him wearing it looks so ridiculous, the team even turned the moment into a bobblehead. But home runs don't always give people something that they'll forget about in a week. Jose Batista's home run was so Batista. wild, a fan got it tattooed on their body for life. That home run eventually helped his team win the game and the playoff series. The home run itself wasn't the only iconic part though. Even his bat flip afterwards was ranked as the best in MLB history. So when one of his fans saw that, he was so hyped that he hit the tattoo shop and got Jose's home run celebration permanently inked onto his leg. Now that, that tat's hard for sure, but I definitely ain't letting a dude ride my leg. Unless it's LeBron. But all right, enough gay jokes. Cause there's a home run that was so crazy, his own opponents gave him an award. That ball is crushed to the back of the pavilion oh. and on top of the pavilion. I have never seen a ball hit that far at Dodger Stadium. That home run literally made it out of the Dodger Stadium 467 feet. And because it was so unbelievable, the Dodgers literally hung up a plaque for Tatis's record, even though he was on the other team. I never heard of something like that. But only an award is nothing compared to some of the craziest home runs in history that literally ended games.
those home runs, only won regular season games. One legend's craziest walk-off won his team a championship. It was the 1993 World Series, and Toronto was looking to go back to back. And that's when Joe Carter stepped up to the plate with a chance to win the game. Here's a pitch on the way, a swing and a belt. Well field, way back. Blue Jays win. Yeah, and a hit like that was the only time it happened in history. A walk-off home run to win their second World Series in a row, a place so iconic to Toronto, even Drake made a pick of the moment the cover art for his single bad to bad. But winning games, getting turned into cover art, that's nothing compared to the home runs that are worth millions of dollars. One of those was when Big Daddy Aaron Judge was chasing the record for most home runs in a season by any American League player ever. All season long, this motherfucker couldn't miss. Home run after home run after home run until he eventually had 61. Now being just one home run away from the record, Judge had the entire stadium on their feet ready to witness history. After he sent that ball into the crowd, a lucky fan not only got it, a few days later they eventually put it up for auction and it sold for a near record breaking 1.5 million dollars. I gotta start going to more baseball games, you know what I'm saying bro, I'm not even gonna lie to you bro, it sold for how much? 1.5 mil? You became a millionaire from catching a free ball? I mean I guess you paid to get in the game, you know, but it's worth it bro, what the, yo what? That is insane. <laughs> uh, ha, ha. Yo, <laughs> yo, where that baseball at right now? You know what I'm saying, bro? I gotta know. Over an M for a asking for a friend. Another man's ball is crazy, but uh, something more than double the price came from Mark McGuire's mouth. home run. Cause right after he broke the record for the most home runs by any National League player ever. <laughs> As historic as that home run was, Mark wanted to make his record even more untouchable. So in the last game of the season, he hit not one, but two home runs. And both of those put his total up to 70 on the season, a number that nobody had thought was even humanly possible or would ever be touched. So the fan who caught the ball made sure he secured the bag by eventually selling the home run ball for a record 3 million. Yeah, bro. I said it before I said it again. I gotta go to more baseball games. I gotta go to more baseball games. I gotta go to more baseball games, bro. Yo, these, these baseball actually making folks millionaires. Not just players, but fans too. Come on now. Million dollars. But as record breaking as those home runs were, absolutely nobody in history will ever top the craziest home run that Barry Bonds hit. This man was closing in on one Barry of the Bonds. craziest Son records of. in sports history. Like For over man. 33 years, at the top of the Barry home Bonds. run list was Hank Aaron with Bonds. 755 Barry career Bonds. homers. But eventually Bonds was creeping closer and closer and closer until. Deals. And Bonds hits one right high! Hits it deep! It is out of here! 7.56! Bonds stands alone! He is on top of the all-time home run list! I'm being real, man. I couldn't believe my eyes when that happened, steroids or not. That's completely natural. It's called the exercise. Bonds put himself on top of the record books with that home run. 756. Hey, but yo, all right, I'll admit, the home that? run itself wasn't as crazy as a player hitting a home run so far that it would land in a different state. Things began in Ohio and eventually landed in Kentucky, all because of Adam Dunn. He was playing at the Great American Ballpark, which was right next to a river on the border of his state. Uh, now, I know what you're thinking, like, okay. is this geography class or a YouTube video about home runs? Like, what the hell is going on here? Well, history was about to be made when Adam stepped land in the water and floating the other country. Okay, I see. To, to I, I the play. See, I see, I see. San Diego. Done to center field. Forget it. That's going to be long gone, done and gone. That's a long time out of here. Oh, 
That's long time out of here. I could be an officer, His home bro. run literally went out of the park. Not only did it go 535 feet for the longest home run in the stadium's history, the ball bounced for another 200 feet into the river and floated all the way past the state line. But even home runs that left the stadium and the state can never compare to a home run that only happened because someone died. At the time, Jose Fernandez was the star pitcher for the Marlins. But on September 25th, 2016, him and his boys got a little wild while they were drinking and speeding a boat around Miami Beach. They were cruising nah. around 70 miles an hour when the boat crashed into rocks and killed everyone on board. Tragic news this morning. We can confirm Jose Our Fernandez, team. the pitcher for the Marlins, was killed. He was one of three people killed during this boating well, also act. Also, place to begin with surprises, the fuck? Accident overnight. Breaking news of this happening shocked the entire MLB world, especially his teammates. So during the Marlins' next game, they honored Jose by wearing his name and number on the back of their jerseys and oh. also gave him an emotional tribute. But nobody did something more iconic than one of Jose's teammates and best friends, D. Gordon. As the heartbreaking game began, he was first up to bat since the tragedy. And knowing this was one of the biggest moments of his life, he stepped up to bat pretending he was Jose by standing at the other side of the plate to represent where Jose would have hit from. But after representing his boy, he switched back to his normal batting stance to guarantee he'd do something even more special. Man, there's no way Jose wasn't looking down and proud of that home run. And that's why D couldn't hold back the tears knowing what he'd just done for his boy. That definitely earned my respect. But some things that cost MLB players a ridiculous that's crazy. The little video ain't gonna lie. Again, I know nothing about the bases, the ball, the base balls. I do know we've hit the ball hard enough, you know what I'm saying? It goes really, really far, and they call it a home run, and that is really dope, you know what I'm saying, bro? Um, if you guys got any other videos for me to watch, uh, anything sports-related, you know what I'm saying, uh, let me know in the comments, and I'll get to it properly, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you like, subscribe. Uh, 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 uh. Make sure you like the video, you know what I'm saying, so the algorithm knows that uh, to promote it to other people. You feel me, man? And, 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 and I'll see you in the next one, you feel me?